welcome to medicine made easy so uh, so today we our topic is how to get good marks in anatomy in the university exams so today video is ex exclusively for the first year um, mba students today i'm going to discuss the whole upper limb and the thorax book okay and i'm going to give uh, the some important topics by which you you you're going to score the 70% marks in our university exams i assure you about it okay but this this topics are not for the ones who are not scared of the uh, university exams and who have done already better in their previous exams and who have no they are scoring good marks these topics are not for them they should study the whole book but the, i am giving the topics for the students who are scared a bit of bit uh, to do to, to the university are coming maybe probably in the next september sorry probably the coming september because so they have at least four four months to study the whole anatomy subject that is four to six books they they have to uh, include embryology as well as histology so uh, they are we were anatomy book of the upper limb that is holy and i am going to give you an important topics that will help so let's start so this is our um, anatomy book of bd jaurasia you gonna take this by your side as i move forward okay so this is uh, our first chapter that is the uh, introduction you have to do nothing in the introduction in the bones chapter bones chapter is important for the uh, your uh, prelims sorry your viva the external as well internal gonna ask you some questions about the bones so you have to uh, you have to understand the bones name there are some important uh, structures that is we can call it that as a uh, um, peculiarities of the bones and two to three their attachment to the muscles and the nerves so you have to uh, do the uh, bones for your viva this uh, this question will be of 5 to 10 months in your viva so next chapter is our next chapter is so aap aap thode thode aage badhte rahe next chapter is pectoral region in this chapter you you have to do i think your best breast so the breast question is going to have the 10 marks for you you have to do this perfectly you have to include everything that is given in this book as well as you can refer to the another books but you have to do everything that is no time uh, lymphatic damage everything as well as clinical i have made the video on the breast anatomy you can refer to that i will give uh, the link of the breast video in my description this is for the uh, um, long answer question that is my question breast then uh, move forward to the axilla axilla is important in uh, for your internal exams you can uh, they can ask you the axilla uh, question related to axilla but as uh, the next question will be on the brachial plexus Okay, this question will be for uh, the about uh, it. It will come uh, for the ten marks as well as uh, eleven marks. We can't say that, but brachial plexus you have to done this perfectly. That is, I have given two questions at the breast brachial plexus. Then there are clinical questions as uh, paralysis, clump case paralysis. These two questions are important um, for your exam. Then the next chapter is the back. In back you have to do I think nothing. So. You can leave the chapter. Then the scapular region is the chapter. Next chapter, scapular region. In the scapular region, there is a. Let's see. There are intramuscular uh, spaces. This this questions will be asked to you for the two to three to my question. That is short answer questions. You have to do this diagram very clearly. Then the next chapter is in this chapter in the cutaneous nose and cutaneous nose and superficial veins and peritoneal. There is a, I think there is nothing to do. In the chapter arm, next chapter is arm. You have to do. I think uh, nothing to do in this this chapter. The, is, there is a cubital fossa. This question will definitely come for your internals as well as your limb as well as uh, your final exams. So do uh, cubital fossa very uh, confidently. Then cubital fossa. Okay. Then there is a uh, this one is a breast elbow can be come for the uh, clinical type question. Then there is the Saturday night fallacy as well as this question will also come Saturday night fallacy for the your clinical exams. This may come for two marks as well as five marks question. Then next question is um okay for the viva you have to do muscles of front of forearm this uh, the teachers taking your viva will definitely ask this question the muscles of front of forearm you have to do in this superficial muscles as well as deep muscle their compartments okay so you have to do for this for the viva then there are three nerves you have to do in the upper extremity that is median now Let's do this very uh, clearly. Then there is a next nerve is radial nerve, and the third nerve is another. This three nerves definitely above, uh, from this three nerve, you one question will come in every exam that is prelim as well as final. So we have to do this about three. One question will definitely come. So you have to do this three nerves. You can do this through the uh, any book that is Kazi will help you uh, for studying these nerves. They have uh, very good diagrams as well as 
book of Vishram Singh have very good diagrams you can also study from that book and then uh, we are moving forward okay we are moving forward and then we will see in the joints of the upper limb we are in the 10th chapter you have to do the shoulder girdle okay this question will come definitely for the 10 mark that is shoulder joint shoulder joint will definitely come for the 10 mark in your all the exams so this is very important topic shoulder joint you have to do movements blood supply relations everything right as well as clinical anatomy elbow joint is not that important so you, you can leave that well i think we are in the last chapter of the upper extremity that is surface marking radiology anatomy and the, that all the uh, something like that in this chapter you have i think nothing to do but the the question like radiology ke jitne bhi sare yahan pe jo extra diye aapko achhi tarah se karne honge kyunki is pe aapko question puchha jayega in the viva for the five marks so we have to name everything given in that uh, x-ray and you have to they will definitely ask some uh, clinical related question also so we have to do x-ray as well from the that they are giving that uh chapter so this is all now i'm going to the next part that is the thorax in the volume one of the bd theoracia so in this chapter the first is about the introduction you have nothing to do in the introduction in the bone chapter you have to do some you have to uh, do bones for the viva as well okay so viva ke liye aapko padhna padega and then yeah That is रिब्स रिब्स आपको हर एक रिब्स और हर एक वर्टर बाय का डिफरेंट अलग अलग पिकुलटिज बढ़नी पड़ेगी फॉर द वाइवा पॉइंट ऑफ क्वेश्चन देन वाइवा इज जस्ट फॉर द फाइव मार्स सो यू डोंट हैव टू वाइवा ऑन द बोन्स इज जस्ट फॉर फाइव सो डोंट हैव टू वेरी अबाउट दैट देन दर इज इम्पोर्टेंट क्वेश्चन एज रेस्पिरेटरी मूवमेंट्स यू हैव टू डू दिस प्रिंसिपल मूवमेंट कौन कौन से डिजिपिकल हैंड मूवमेंट पम्प हैंडल मूवमेंट दोनों मूवमेंट आपको करनी होगी क्वेश्चन जरूर आएगा आपको देन और देन अब वॉल ऑफ थोरैक्स है इसमें शायद आपको क्वेश्चन कोई नहीं आ सकता सो डोंट हैव टू वरी अबाउट दिस राइट देन देर इज वन क्वेश्चन दैट इज अजाइगस वेन इट विल कम फॉर द टेन मार्क्स एज वेल और मे बी फाइव मार्क्स यू हैव टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन दैट सी मे गैस ऑल द अजाइगस वेन राइट ही मे गजाइगस और अजाइगस वेन देन द नेक्स्ट चैप्टर इज थोड़े सिक्योरिटी एंड फ्लोरा यू हैव टू डू द फ्लोरा वेरी क्लियरली बिकॉज on this chapter you will uh, doing some physiology as well as this help you in the next year also so do pleura very well you have to do the skin and clinical anatomy as respiration and pleura city the pneumothorax this will definitely come for the next year you have to do this do this pleura thing very uh, very confidently or very clearly then there is a lung you have to i think there is one question about the lung is the uh, bronchopulmonary segments this is the bronchopulmonary segments this will definitely come uh, you, you have to do this diagrams in your exam Then there are ten bronchi permeable segments. So uh, this is an important question on the from the lungs. Then there is a chapter mediastinum. I think this is important chapter for the ten mark question. So please do this. This is full chapter you have to do. It's very uh, simple chapter. Just you have to understand the things superior mediastinum, inferior mediastinum, and their parts. The next part chapter is the pericardium heart. In this chapter, you will, they will ask you about the um, right atrium. देर डेवलपमेंट इज इम्ब्रोलॉजी का पार्ट आता है यहाँ पे राइट वेंट्रिकल सो इफ यू इफ यू टेल मे विच इफ यू चिपो टॉपिक्स आर इंपॉर्टेंट इन एम्ब्रोलॉजी आई कैन मेक द आई कैन मेक वीडियो ऑन दैट ऑल्सो इफ यू वॉन्ट प्लीज कमेंट बिलो दिस इज लेफ्ट रेटरी मार्सो देट इज लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल सो दिस आर द पार्ट्स दे विल आस्क फॉर द फाइव मार्क्स क्वेश्चन देन देर विल आस्को एज द आर्ट इज सप्लाइन द हार्ट दिस इज ऑल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन आर्ट इज सप्लाइन द हार्ट राइट कोरोना एंट्री लेफ्ट कोरोना एंट्री एंड दर ब्रांचेस राइट देन या नेक्स्ट चार्टर इज What is the chapter? That is the superficial cavity of the femoral trunk. I think that is not so important. But you have to give a uh, one read on the, all this, even if you're scared, right? So don't leave anything behind. Just I, I have given some important topics. You have to do this very hundred percent like thing. But don't leave anything behind. Next chapter is the trachea, esophagus, and thoracic duct, right? Then in this chapter you have to do I think um, thoracic duct. This question will come for ten marks. So you have to do thoracic duct. Your thing you have to tabulator is as well. As well as clinical. Then the next chapter is the clinical surface marking and radiology anatomy. Radiology, radiology will come for the viva. So uh, and there is another thing that is the barium swallow. This will come to you as well as uh, 
there are some this uh, diagrams will come you have to answer what are the diagram related to you have to name their bones muscles why are they looking dark why are they looking whitish so you have to answer their questions right next chapter is autonomic nervous system now this is not so important so don't don't give too much to it right this is all about our uh British Russia's anatomy that is upper limb and thorax please you have to answer i have given some important topics for the university point of view you have to do this for the university exam if if only you are scared and i think if you do this only you can definitely get 70 percent marks if you have a very nice presentation presentation important for the university exams draw diagrams in even wherever possible wherever possible you have to draw, draw diagrams then this is important then i can say just if many job up to important question this comes to me in a cap go but see you can have to throw it out of the hand and I put it on then I have also have some uh, clinical crash cases that is a paralysis is important this will come for five mass breast carcinoma colis fracture saturday night palsy carpet and syndrome pleural effusion angina so these are the upper extremity and this is for the thorax so we have to do this this will definitely give you good marks actually uh, in the question paper there is a uh, in university paper is divided into paper one and paper two so in for paper two there are uh, mostly from the super extremity they will give you the uh, LQ type of question in the short answer question and the uh, short note question they will add histo related questions and the embryology related questions so i think this is only thing you have to do for histo and embryology i will make another video if you want please comment below so thank you for uh, watching this video please share it to your friends which are uh, really scared of exams and they are coming soon i think in september mm, thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share thank you